Hello and welcome. Neil Ans here from Tax TV. Got Dale on, so Dale, great to have you on, mate. Hey, bud. You all right? Uh, yeah, not bad. Uh, Are we all so, good? Yeah. Yeah, all good. Going to be talking about MK Dons. But uh, before we get to that, a uh, bit of a recent upturn in form. Um, a few wins like now, progress, clean sheets. Uh, I think we've come through that bit of a blip, Dale. Uh, we, we, you know, we couldn't seem to buy a win at the minute. Now we've, we've seem to be on uh, upturn. Yeah, mate. Um, Shrewsbury was Shrewsbury was a good game. It was, it was frustrating at the time. Uh, we couldn't really get we couldn't really get going. Um, I mean, we dom we dominated the game. In my opinion, I think that um, there weren't. I think once that first goal went in, um, with ten minutes, um, I think it it was game over. I think um, Shrewsbury had this. Not gonna dispute that. I did chances, but I think defensively we were solid. We we cancelled them out, um, and yeah, it, it it weren't. Again, performance wise, it wasn't brilliant. It wasn't great, um, but we got three points on the bag and um, <clears throat> moving in on to Saturday, it, it, it's turning out to be a, a nice a nice three points because MK Dons, the down, the down there, the fighting to stay up in the league. Um, mm. you, you mentioned going a run a good run of form. That their, you know, their run of form is completely different to ours. Um, so they'll want you know they'll they'll want to spoil the apple can, but yeah, I'm I'm happy with how we're going at the minute, mate. I think a cup run, uh, again, I think we we might get into the third round. I think that's uh, you know crew at home. It's a good it's mm. a, it's a, a good tiles, um crew at home. Third round at FA Cup looks to be. I'm not going to. You know, it looks to be on the cards. Um, we've got you know, Port Vale away in Johnson's paid fee, so look forward to that. Um, you know, and these little these little cup runs could spark a season cup. You you, you know, I know we're missing players with injury and and things like that, but these little cup runs could you know they could spark a decent run of you, you know you once you get that. That win under your belt, with confidence then going into the next game uh, getting three points. So yeah, I'm looking. I'm. It's looking good at the minute. It's looking good. Yeah, I mean, for me, I'm going back to Bolton game at FA Cup. I think uh, you know, going via going to Bolton. You know, no matter if it's in League or Cup, it's always a difficult place to go. And uh, to go away from you know from that game in difficult conditions for both sides, but we came away with a win. Um, and again, I think win, win, winning games will bring confidence in in players. And going to Shrewsbury game for me, Shrewsbury game were a bit like I kind of it kind of reminded me of Fleetwood kind of game where it was frustrating, wasn't great football at times, but we did a job. Whereas. I can see if we wouldn't have been in it as a team, we'd have probably come away with we uh, if it had been last season. Where I think Duff has got the team believing and to be fighting for every point. And I think that kind of shown when it were like later stages at game, when I think it was Dunkley what had gone in uh, on, on Collins and all the players were there, which I kind of want. Uh, the alt place to be there and being it as a as a team. Um, I get where you're coming from. We've got uh, yeah, Port Vale in uh, Papa John's and then Crew in the FA Cup. So you'd like to think two winnable games there. Um, and again, for me, win every game if you can. It's it's confidence in players. We know that it's going to be what can I say. Nor would be picking up, you know, we are injured and stuff like that. So it's going to be a test of character for, I think, for a lot of players as well. Um, and one that I, I hope going into Christmas period, we can see such as like Matty Wolf return back and, you know, 
Hell Park kind of thing in that area. But for me, and this is a bit refreshing as well, Adam Phillips, you know, a couple of goals in the last couple of games, mm-hmm. keeping Josh Benson out on bench. So again, competition for places in, inside, isn't there? Absolutely, mate. Yeah, I, I, absolutely. I, it needs that needs to happen because you know we we're lacking we're lacking on the bench. We you know we. I'm not saying the players that we've got on the bench aren't decent players. It's just that we are we are lacking that little bit of quality. It, it's Adam Phillips has hit the right time. You know, Bolton away, he got that goal, and then Shrewsbury mm-hmm. had a nice little finish into the bottom corner. So yeah. It's one of them. Do you play him? Do you, but he is, he is one of our better players. You've got, you've got to admit that he is one of our better players. It's just that unfortunately, he's hit that little bit of purple patch where he's not really getting any goals or anything like that, you know. And and Adam Phillips is, um, but. <laughs> We didn't. We didn't buy Benson to get his goals. We, we we bought Benson to run as midfield to be his engine in that midfield spot. We bought. We I think Adam Phillips is more of an an attack builder anyway, isn't he? I think that's that's how he's been playing for the past couple of years as an as an attacking midfield. So, I listen. I like I like it. A bit of comp- Finally, a bit of competition in squad to get some places. And, and and people are hitting form at the right time. Um, I've heard, I've seen in papers that we that we aren't looking for any like loans or free agencies until January. So it sounds a little bit more positive that we are looking at players to sign in January, uh, which which is needed. It is needed. So uh, yeah, mate, it, it's it's all confidence. It's you know that run. Them spots are there to be taken by players who aren't game time, and Adam Phillips has took that. So, yeah, good for him. Good for him because it's about time that places were fought for at Barnsley Football Club, and you know, because last season it was it was the same eleven, you know, and and manage, managers have never really had a, a place, and you know they've and Michael Duff has he's got he's got. You know, he's he's got players finalists. All good for it, mate. All good for it. Yeah, I mean, for me, it's like what you want uh, positions and players not to be, uh, you know, it's kind of alluded to that Duff coming into uh, MK game is that even though they're in like whatever position opposition they're in is like it's not going to turn up just to be a given which you know i fully respect that and it should be treated as that as well uh, i think last season like you said via first 11 more or less picked it send even though they were questionable doubt you know uh you know across mm-hmm. fan base were like saying well we shouldn't be playing but we didn't really have the options to do all tells apart from that so yeah for me um Pleased that there is competition. We've still got such as like as Thomas to come back, Matty Wolf to come back. So when you start looking at that respect as well, you, you kind of think, yeah, certain areas we we seem to have covered apart from injury. Um, I'm ple- I'm kind of pleased as well that we're not really bothered about the free agent market because I think if we do go out now and get a free agent player in. It's going to take two or three weeks to get up to match speed, mm. sharpness, fitness. So you might as well wait for January if you can and yeah. try and get someone in who kind of ground running, if you know what I mean, rather than, you know, take a punt on it and have a, have a bit of a gamble. So, yeah, I mean, going to MK Don's game, for me, I think it's one what, again, even Duff said, we, we need to start as a way form, if we can, try and convert it to our own form, as in... Getting results and and that for you know for all fans, so he, he knows that, doesn't he? You know. Yeah, ab- absolutely. You know, M- MK Don, M- MK Don's, uh, you know, the the struggling. You know, they had the I think they had one of the best teams in championship in in League One, should I say, last, last season. You know, Scott Twine, who went to Burn, um, I can't remember. 
what it Harry Darling as well in in, in cent, center half. Um, I think their squad last season and and got them up to the playoffs. Um, I think it was on the last game of the season, weren't it, when they thrashed uh, Plymouth? Uh, I think well a four one or something like that to get into playoffs. Um, and and they were unfortunate not to get to the playoff final, but um, I think. <laughs> The the like us and the, the the you know they got rid of the, the decent players that they had and 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 they're struggling. Um, we're not struggling, but we have done in the past by game rid of our better players and the size of the club, uh, the stadium that they have, MK Dons. It, it, it's they should be they shouldn't be there. They shouldn't be where they are. Uh, I think again, it, I. I, I like MK Dons away. It's a decent away day. I think last time I went to MK Dons away was in, I think it was in, was it the FA Cup run? Um, not too long ago. Was it 2000? And, it might have been 10 years ago, you know, about 2013, mm. 14, when, it, when, we, yeah. when we played him in Cup when Chris Dagnall played. Mm. Yeah, that's the last time I went to MK Dons. Um, I think. Joke, you know, all jokes aside, it, the fan, the fan base have isn't really up there with the best that you know because they don't fill that stadium. It, it's not a, it's it's a, it's is is stadium MK, but yeah, the I, I'll take you know we're not going to MK Dons, we're at home, so. I, th- I think three points. I think it's a home game. We're at home. Hopefully, the weather's all right because uh, it's been, it's been uh, it's been mm. flash flooding all over where I live. So I think um, three points for me. It's a home game, mate. So we've got to we've got to think positive. We've got to go for that. We've got to go for that three points again going into. Going into a, a period um, in league, because I don't think we've got a league game for, is it a couple of weeks after MK Dons, mm. is it? Because I think we've got Port Vale in week. Cups, isn't it? Yeah. Is it Port Vale in week? And then is it FA Port Vale Cup Wednesday and then against um, Crew? Crew, yeah. And then Peterborough following Friday, I think. Yeah, Friday second, second December. Isn't it? Yeah. So three points, get that through. Um, and march on from there. Yeah, march on from there. Yeah, uh, I'm kind of going with MK Dons at home, looking to try and capitalise on our performance and MK Dons' misfortune at the minute, uh, when you look at it like that. I think the confidence and beliefs in squad, um, for me, I'm, I'm going to be going... I'm going to say three out Barnsley. I just, I just feel that the we could be up for this. Our our defense is pretty solid. It's pretty tight. It's you know it's some of what's been worked on, uh, well drilled. I just think that we're going to get another clean sheet at home. Uh, start on the same tempo, and I think there's goals in this. I do. I think it's going to be yep. three out Barnsley. Um, and look, I'd, I'd take that all day long. I'd, I'd even take a one note, but I just feel that. We can get momentum and get early doers, you know, get get going early. I can see it being a, a three out win for for Barnes against MK Dons. What what uh, score are you going for? Um, I I think I'd, I'd stay with the same squad that beat Shrewsbury. Yeah, I agree. I'd stay yeah. with that because um, I think we we were solid. We weren't mm-hmm. great, but we we were so, we were we were solid. I think Teddy um, is having a fitness thing because he's going over it, rolled over in his ankle. So, in it, so. Um, yeah, um, f- a lot of people gain on Teddy Chisholm's back against Shrewsbury. I think it. I think it's. I think he's doing that. I think he's got a young good lad. Work rate, you mate. Know, he's not. He's not living. Yeah. Yeah. I thought, yeah, the work rate's there. It's just, it's just the quality. Once again, we've got no quality up front, Neil. We haven't, we haven't got that 
we haven't got that. For me, it's that confidence. All and out that. striker. We haven't. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, mate. It, it's yeah, hundred percent. It's it's confidence for every player until they get that first that first goal or mm. you know into some like that. You know what I mean? Mm. So I'd go for the same team. I think I think um, if I'd go, to be fair for just a bit of energy, I'd go for Aitchinson. We call. Mm. I'd go it I'd go Hutchinson we call up top. Uh just I think that just that little change, just that little bit of energy, because I think having two big strikers up top is it's lacking that little bit of that little bit of energy in it, that little pace up top. Um I'd go Hutchinson and I'd go score line. I'd I'd go three oh we're not we're not scoring many though, are we? I'd, I'd, I'll go 2 0. I'll go 2 0. 2 0. Right. Okay, okay. So both agreed it's going to be a win. Um, Bounds, MK Dons, have your sent comments below watching? Uh, let us know your score. Let us know lineup. Do you, you know, kind, would you kind of stick with the same squad, same lineup, uh, barring any injuries? But I think we, are, we all can agree that we're not, we need to start winning. And uh, making all well a fortress, and obviously uh, on a few occasions this like. But when you're looking at our fortune, we, we, we and... need to we need to start we need to start winning more comfortably, Neil. In my opinion, mm. we I need to start winning more start... comfortably because better teams. It's easy said than done, but it because you... yeah, it's easy said than done, but it because I'm mm. no disrespect, but you look against Cheltenham, you know Fleetwood, Markham, Shrewsbury. You look at them kind of games. For them, they play us and they see us as a scalp, uh, especially where we are in league as well. You know what I mean? It's, I mean, yeah. for me, you look at Shrewsbury Town, and I, I was surprised that Steve Cottrell, their manager, I didn't, I didn't realise until that. But again, when the neither did I. The, 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 the in, we in their means, they'll see such as like us, Peter reports Portsmouth, Plymouth, Sip, which is like. Uh, Big game for them, and they'll adapt their game for them. And their season to mm. League One, so they know what it takes to grind out results or ever messy, dirty, na not a nasty game, but uh, an ugly kind of game. But happy to come away with a draw, and we've got to try and counter that and play our game, not yeah. fall into their way of playing a game. Mm. We've got to dictate kind of game, haven't we? So, um. So yeah. I think it's going to be Absol a test. Absolutely, mate. Absolutely. I think, <clears throat> I think I think MK Don's I think MK are up there with the bigger sides in the league, in my opinion. The mm. us and them that we're one of the bigger sides league, you know. And kind of, let's say if a Wednesday or an Ipswich played us then we would have been beaten three or four one. In my opinion, with the chances that Shrewsbury had, Shrewsbury had some decent chances. Let's not forget that, you know. And we're not we're not being big big. Where it's it's big, you know. In 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 a small league, we're not saying that. We're we're saying that we've come down from the championship, you know. And Shrewsbury have 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 Shrewsbury have had some years in the league two and also in League One. So we've come down from championship and. We're not being big headed by saying that it we're a, we're a massive club or all like that. We're just saying that it would have been a, it would have been a big victory for Shrewsbury. It would have been a you know a bet buster as as we call it. Um, but Don's, you know, like I said, said K Don's and us were the we we we're, we're two of the bigger clubs in 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 League One. You know, we you got to. So it'll be tough. It'll be tough. It'll be a tough game. Um, they'll not. They'll not lay down. They'll not. They'll not give up. But I think being at home, it's his last. It's his last home game for a while. Um, mm. in league, in my, I think, I think it's. it's I think Peterborough. On wins, then I think we we got Oxford away. Our last home game for a while. 
Uh, and also we we've got a we've got to hit them we've got to hit them from minute one. Try and get that early goal. Try and get a second if we can, because as it's shown, you know the heads do go down when a when a team scores early. We've it's been proven at Oakwell before. You know we we conceded that really early goal. What I think it were against X and we lost. Him. Yeah, I th- mm. think we've got to try and get that early game off and then just go from there. I, I, th- I hope, I'm hoping it's three points. Three points. Uh, let us know your thoughts below. Um, like I said, we need, we need a win. Obviously, we need a win to keep in touch and uh, keep close with uh, top six. So three points, a win at Oakwell. Uh, let us know your comments in the, you know, uh, in the Also, Adam Ammo coming back as well, isn't he? You know, yeah, Adam Ammo like coming back. Sweet. Yeah, yeah, that'd be, that'd be an, in- uh, an interesting and uh, good reception as well. So that'd be a, that'd be a good one, but um, a legend in his own right at Barnsley, isn't he? So hopefully he will. Uh, yeah, let us know would your you thoughts. Him, would you have him now? As what? As what? Well, would you would you have him? Would you would you have him? Would you have him behind the scenes? Would you have him? I would. Or, but it, I think it all depends. Would you have him with like a, a scout or a chief executive? As that would you have him? No, I'd have him. In, uh, I'd have him as a coach in uh, youth stroke under twenty three setup. At minute, because I think he's got uh, a lot of coaching to do. Uh, I don't know if he's taking any coaching badges at minute, but I think if he's eager and is uh, ambitious enough, he can do what he wants. I think he, I think he's got the fire in his belly, uh, but again, I think he is. Is gonna be having to walk before he can run, um, and I'd want it to work for him and not be high expectations put on last shoulder and not turn out right for him. But I'd, I'd have him back at Oakwell in some capacity uh, in in coaching setup with Younglands. I think he'd, uh, I think, I think, and I think a lot of Younglands will look up to him as well, knowing what what he's done at club in his own right, uh, Adam Amble. In his first and second spell, but uh, yeah, I, I'd have him back. And again, it's all down to Adam Amel. But you know, what what does he want to do as a now? Mm-hmm. Now is he tired? That, mm-hmm. That's his that's his uh, ambition. But good luck to it, lad. I hope it all works out for him, and no doubt, we're, we're, you know, when he comes on, if if and when he comes on pitch. Um, but I know when Legend Sweet and that he'll get a. A good ovation and a, 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 a well deserved one as well. Uh, it will be from me, and I'm sure many more other like Daniel Stendhal did as well when he came on at half time. There were a lot, mm. uh, there were a lot of people uh, what, what applauded that. So, yeah, uh, let us have your thoughts about weekend game coming up. MK Dons, let's all we can it be uh, a win before the cup games come yeah, out uh, and move on in the league. One thing left to say, you Reds.